water, fields, and woods. Today, Rockford, the city at the top in Illinois. The roving ground of Indian and Buffalo a little more than 100 years ago, now rude log cabins have been replaced by towering majestic buildings of brick and stone. And tall steel factory chimneys stand where the curling smoke once issued from the tribal teepees of the Black Hawk. The Indian trails of the past have become the modern thoroughfares of the present. And here at the city's hub, Main Street and State Street intersect. U.S. Highway 20 from Boston on the Atlantic to Portland on the Pacific crosses U.S. Highway 51 from northern Wisconsin to New Orleans on the Gulf of Mexico. East meets west and the south meets north in Rockford at the crossroads of the Middle West, a city built through the inspired and courageous efforts of its own people. And here too are convenient shopping areas, downtown 7th Street, Broadway, East and West State, North and South Main, Rockford Shopping District the trading centers of northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin, providing the people of the area in modern stores a wide selection of merchandise, up-to-the-minute styling, and dependable quality. The Lafayette, the Nelson, and the Faust are this city's leading hotels, with a total of 875 rooms. The Central Illinois Electric and Gas Company the Bell Telephone Company, the Streamline News Tower, with the Rockford Register Republic and the Morning Star, the Public Library, U.S. Post Office Building, the City Hall, seat of Rockford's government under the Aldermanic Plan, and the National Guard Armory, seating 5,000. Rockford is a city which has its roots deep into the soil, a home city built by the people. 62% of the residents own their own homes. A drive through any residential section, east, west, north, or south, shows that progressive homeowners take pride in making Rockford a beautiful city of clean streets and well-kept homes. An industrial city with no tenement district, Rockford continues to grow and is becoming ever more a city of homes, a good place in which to live. Rockford educates its young citizens for successful living in its fine schools. 18 elementary, three junior high schools, two ultramodern senior high schools, and eight parochial schools. One of the most famous institutions of the Middle West is Rockford College, located on a wooded bluff in the heart of the city. Established in 1847, it is the nation's second oldest women's college. Inspired by the desire of its people, Rockford has learned to appreciate the arts, music, painting, and drama. Concert goers enjoy the achievements of the Civic Symphony Orchestra and the Mendelssohn Club. Hundreds participate in the many and various singing societies. Not only are talented local musicians given the opportunity to perform, but also world-renowned artists are brought to Rockford's appreciative audiences. Murphy Art Gallery is the home of art. The YMCA, great organizer of young people's activities, has a beautiful log lodge on the banks of Rock River, a popular and attractive meeting place for many groups. The steeples of more than 80 churches rise to meet the sky in every part of Rockford. Substantial testimonials to the faith and the spiritual qualities of its people. Rockford citizens have not been satisfied with industrial growth and economic security alone. They've built for themselves places of worship that have inspired the ideals and spiritual growth of the community. Five modern hospitals. The Children's Home has been in continuous service since 1906, and P.A. Peterson Home, operating on a non-profit basis, provides a pleasant environment for the aged. Second Machine Tool Center of the United States, largest producer of high-grade furniture and one of the greatest hosiery producing centers in the country, that's Rockford, second industrial city of Illinois, the place where they make the machines for making the machines that make the machines. Yes, Rockford has come a long way since Germanicus Kent, one of the earliest settlers established on the banks of Rock River, a sawmill in 1838. First came the New Englanders, then followed the Scandinavians, all fine craftsmen. Men like P.A. Peterson and Andrew C. Johnson in furniture, Peter and William Watson in machine tools, 
and John Nelson, who revolutionized the knitting of hosiery with his knitting machine, led the way. 85% of Rockford's industry grew up through the efforts of its own citizens. Until today, there are over 400 different manufacturing plants normally employing more than one-fourth of the city's population. Within a 150-mile area surrounding Rockford is one-tenth of the population of the entire United States, which gives it an outstanding position for distribution of manufactured products and location of wholesale firms. The sun never sets on the label Made in Rockford, which goes around the world. The brains, thrift, human vitality, vision, and spiritual qualities of the citizens are the bricks in the foundation upon which this progressive Midwestern community is building. Where long ago the Indians hunted, fished, and grew their primitive crops in the fertile Rock River Valley, now on the rolling farmlands of the rich black soil, there are prosperous, enterprising farms. One of the richest agricultural territories in the Midwest, the Rockford area, is ideal for dairy, grain, and stock farming. On the more than 29,000 farms in the retail trading zone around the city, the principal crops of the farms, which average 157 acres in size, are milk, corn, hogs, beef, oats, hay, and poultry. These flourishing farms of the Rock River Valley supply Rockford and the Midwest area with the basic needs of life. Rockford's rolling countryside affords golfers of all ages plenty of chance to tee off for that hole-in-one. Four excellent public golf courses and three private golf clubs have been acclaimed by Golfdom Stars. But there are also other opportunities for the younger set to show off their athletic abilities. The sparkling waters of the outdoor swimming pools at two country clubs give swimmers an invigorating dip, as do the two public pools operated by the park board. The sandy beach and wooded picnic grounds provide areas for refreshing summer outings. With exquisite rose gardens, lagoon, and greenhouses, Mississippi Park is unique in the Rockland, Rockford, highly rated park system. There are more than 60 parks, forest preserves, and playgrounds in and around Rockford. Some in the heart of the city, some along the banks of the beautiful Rock, Kishwaukee, and Sugar Rivers, and some in cool wooded sections surrounding the city. It's no wonder Rockfordites love to go on picnics either to the big industrial events with thrill after thrill for the kiddies, or off on a small family picnic with mom frying juicy hamburgers over an open fire, with the rest of the family gathering around the rustic table under a canopy of rustling green trees to enjoy outdoor recreation. But for more formal and elaborate meals, Rockford offers places of a unique charm and providing a perfect setting. At Rockford's nine theaters are shown the latest in motion pictures and Broadway and Chicago stage productions. And so Rockford people work and play, turning the wheels of their great industries together, enjoying spectacular holidays with fun for every member of the family. Where in 1835 there dwelt 27 persons, today there is the marching skyline of a progressive community exceeding 100,000 in population. Yes, this is Rockford, built by its citizens, a truly American city. Yesterday a sawmill, today an industrial capital, this within the lifespan of only two generations, completely demonstrating that our basic American philosophy of individual freedom fully releases the inventive and productive capacities of our people, and that free men with full freedom of enterprise and abiding faith can provide for themselves, their families, and their communities, security, and all those things that make for a happy living. This is America. Yes, this is Rockford at the top in Illinois.